triggers aren't the things like risk vectors that cause your AFib cells to form. They're saying at any given stage of my AFib, early, middle, late, what can wake up my AFib cells more? And this is more prevalent in the earlier stages when you're not in AFib very much. So commonly you'll see somebody, a younger person, maybe in their 30s or 40s who's had their first one or two episodes of AFib. They're just starting to develop those AFib cells that are just starting to wake up. And they say, wow, I noticed that when I drink a lot of coffee, it seems to wake up my AFib. Or when I drink a lot of alcohol. In fact, there's a common condition called holiday heart where if you binge drink alcohol, you go into AFib or the most more common or the second most common rhythm, atrial flutter, which is closely related, and usually lasts for about a day or so. And then when the alcohol gets out of your system, it goes back to sleep. And on your own, you don't have enough AFib cells that it's really waking up regularly. But with certain triggers, you can start to have a lot of problems. 